Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel IIPS, the Educational Incubator. I am Sonny Ravas, your host for today with the lesson of Opportunity Cost. Let me remind you like this, Opportunity Cost, this subtopic of Opportunity Cost is coming under our entire video series of Introduction Economics. And if you haven't watched it yet, go find the link above, check our entire video series of Introduction Economics so that you can find the other concepts explained in a much more helpful manner for you to understand and to know much more about economics and other concepts related to it. And let's see what we have gotten with this opportunity cost concept and opportunity cost lesson today. Opportunity cost is defined and is identified as the value of next best alternative which is foregone in the process of choice. We know resources are scarce and every resource do have multiple alternative users example time time do have multiple alternative users you can do it for shopping you can do it for sleeping you can use it for shop do any kind of a thing you wish to do in such a way when the resources do have multiple options of alternative users you have to select the best alternative which will satisfy your needs and wants when you select one as your best suited option the value of the next best alternative which is foregone is identified as the choice as an example attending college if with the time you have got you decide to select as to attend the college now let's see what are the other options or rather what are the other costs align and relate with this decision of attending cost we know the cost for tuition fees and cost of hostels where you want to accommodate the cost of hostels and cost for tuition fees are direct costs of going to attend college. But what you could have done other than attending the mere college is that you could have worked somewhere and you could have get employed and you could have earned. In accounting and in other monetary concepts of what we do day to day, we when we calculate the cost when we calculate the cost of attending a college we might only take the cost for tuition fees and cost for accommodation but when it comes to the economics we take the opportunity cost because unless you were we were enrolled for a college to attend you could have gone to somewhere else and you could have employed under someone and you could have earned a big chunk of money so when you calculate the cost, you calculate the opportunity cost because you can see the opportunity you missed to earn such good amount of money if you are employed rather than going to attend a college. Now let's see how we denote and how we record this opportunity cost and how, how can we identify because in opportunity cost, first the thing is we need to calculate the opportunity cost of making a decision. Let's move on and let's see how we can calculate the opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is identified with this simple equation, which is number of sacrificing units divided by number of gaining units. Number of sacrificing units divided by number of gaining units. Now we have got a little example where you can find the graph in the right hand side. In the grid, you can see point X and Y axis, point ABC and X and Y axis. At the point A, you can find you will be producing, assume that you are producing something with X and Y goods are the goods you need to produce and you are, you are using your entire resource stock to produce X and Y. At point A, you are producing 0 units of X and 20 units of Y. At point B, you are producing, now you are producing 10 units of X and 10 units of Y. At point C, now you are producing 20 units of X and 0 units of Y. Now the question is, assume you are you're, you're operating at point A where you produce 0 goods of X and you are operating with 20, producing with 20 goods of Y. Now we are shifting from point A, point A to point B. Now let's see how we calculate the opportunity cost of that movement from point A to point B. The first thing is you need to identify the sacrificing unit and the gaining units. 
you can see the sacrificing units because you are shifting from here to here the, the easiest one to calculate would be the gaining units we can you can see you will gain 10 units in this graph you can see you will gain 0 to 10 you will gain 10 units where on the other side you sacrifice 10 units from your y good because now you can't produce 20 odd goods from y because you have to produce 10 goods of x you have got a resource stock which is limited you have got a resource stock which is limited as i mentioned on our production possibility curve topic if you haven't watched us watch us at the production possibility curve lesson series you can find the link above go and check the entire video series regarding the production possibility curves in accordance with production possibility curves we assume the economy is only having a limited or a constant resource stock because of that if we have to gain something or to gain or like to allocate the limited available resources to something then you have to sacrifice something given that now the equation comes like this the opportunity cost of y will be equal you will be sacrificing 10 units of y to gain 10 units of x so the opportunity cost of y will be equal to 1x so this is the way how we can calculate if you want need more clarification rather more complex calculations and sums you can find the link above you can find our entire mcq discussion which was done thoroughly on this chapter of chapter 1 introduction economics where you can find ample of questions regarding opportunity cost where you can know much more in detail regarding how to calculate opportunity cost and what are the tricks and gimmicks the questionnaire can ask at the exam right now the economics in economics when it comes to the opportunity cost we do have three types of opportunity cost one is the constant opportunity cost and the second one and the third one is increasing opportunity cost and decreasing opportunity cost constant opportunity cost is identified as this example which will be the answer would be one all the time and most of the time and we will represent a straight line again this is explained in our video series of production possibility curves you can find the link and you can check them my prime focus in this video is to give insights regarding the increasing opportunity cost and decreasing opportunity cost let's see what is this increasing opportunity cost means it is simply when the sacrificing units increase the sacrificing units would increase over the time where the gaining units hold the same you can see in the xy scenario you are gaining 2 by 2 by 2 but the the pattern the pattern you sacrifice resources from one point to another is gradually increasing at the first times you are only reducing or like sacrificing only one second one two three four it gradually increase that's why it is identified as increasing opportunity cost and every opportunity cost will be hold at full production and full employment those are the basic assumptions of uh, production possibility curve and even the technology hold constant and this is identified in a given period of time the shape of the opportunity cost especially in regarding to increasing opportunity cost is identified as a concave to the origin where on the other side the decreasing opportunity cost which shows a convex to the origin the sacrificing units will gradually decrease over time holding gaining units at the same level so you can see in here the difference is the gaining units are increasing at the same rapid level but the sacrificing units decrease gradually at the first chance you are sacrificing much more and move on move on move on you are sacrificing only a little amount and you do have the other three main assumptions in regarding to a ppc of full production full employment technology hold constant and this is identified only for a given period of time and in increasing opportunity cost it shows a concave to the origin you can see a little cave we call this a concave to origin where on the decreasing opportunity cost a convex to origin can be seen 
And that is for today. And thank you for watching us. And subscribe us for more informative videos like this. And I believe that this video was really helpful for you to have much indeed attention and idea regarding the concepts of opportunity cost. And like, share and comment below if you have any questions and issues regarding these clarifications. We are more than happy to help you. And thank you and we'll see you in another video. And until then, take care.